T.I. is an American rapper, songwriter, actor, producer, entrepreneur, and author who along with the likes of Gucci Mane is widely known for helping popularize trap music. He dropped his debut album I'm Serious way back in October of 2001 and while that had low album sales, his next project Trap Music would go on to debut at number 4 on the Billboard 200 and announce T.I. as a force to be reckoned with on the music scene. These days, T.I. is living a life of luxury in Jonesboro, Georgia and we'll take a look at his gorgeous house there and a couple of his other properties. While T.I. may no longer be as prolific today in terms of music as he was back then, he's still gearing up for his forthcoming 11th album release, The Libra, sometime this year. He's managed to work on this album while concentrating on a whole slew of other business ventures like managing his label Grand Hustle Records and starring in the Netflix competition series Rhythm & Flow. He's also appeared in his very own reality TV series, T.I. & Tiny The Family Hustle and the more recent follow-up T.I. & Tiny Friends & Family Hustle. Yeah, we want some of that, don't we? Can everybody come and be seated? I really want some um, ice cream. Let's eat some green beans first, and then we'll have some ice cream. T.I. and Tamika Tiny Coddle began dating back in 2001 and married one another nine years later. They share three children together who also just so happened to co-star in their reality series. Why are all these people in my house? Our house, man. What's yours, what's mine, what's mine is yours. As you can see from those last couple clips, T.I. lives in a spectacular home in the heart of Georgia and that's just one of his epic mansions. He owns at least two other properties, one of which he often refers to as his bachelor pad. The other is a home he's owned since 2005 and was the site of an ATF raid in 2007. So if owning three different homes doesn't already make it clear, I'll spell it out for you like this. T.I. is all about those real estate holdings. With an estimated net worth of $50 million, T.I. has more than enough cash flow to own multiple homes, the type of which the rest of us can only dream about. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at the collection of homes that T.I. has acquired for himself over the years. Today I'm taking you guys inside three of them. His primary home in Jonesboro, his bachelor pad in Atlanta, and his oldest mansion in College Park. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also recently checked out the homes of Anthony Davis and Jimmy Butler and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We're going to start things off with this look at T.I.'s primary residence located in Jonesboro, Georgia. This is the home that's most often featured on his reality television series, The Family Hustle, and memorable clips like this one. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, you guys look good, but we got to go, so thank you guys for coming out. Uh, you dig. In case you can't tell from the foyer, that's big enough to host the gigantic house party. This is a massive 10,460 square foot home that was first built in 2002 and underwent some major renovations a handful of years ago, including the installation of a closet that was big enough for over a thousand pairs of shoes. We had to build out my clothes. I had to extend my closet so I could fit all my shoes. These, these, these gentlemen and myself seem to have accumulated quite a collection of footwear. But hold on, that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. T.I. picked up this beauty back in 2006 for a reported price of around 4.2.6 million. The house is situated on three acres of land and is comprised of five bedrooms and seven full bathrooms. This four-story home features different types of floor throughout, including carpet, concrete, and hardwood, which basically covers all of your flooring bases, I'd say. It's situated on a lakefront and offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside including the water. And hey, the backyard is big enough to throw gigantic outdoor parties like this 4th of July bash that T.I. put together last year. That snazzy pool and spa combo are no doubt as much fun when T.I. and Tiny are all by their lonesome as they are when they're surrounded by family and friends. In terms of interior amenities, the home features everything you could want including forced air heating for cool nights and central air for those sweltering Georgian days. The kitchen is also top of the line and features every type of appliance you can imagine for all your culinary needs. Not to mention enough space for a full service buffet and extended family members if the moment calls for it. Do we got any like teriyaki okay. type sauce? There's a lemon caper sauce. 
Is that like teriyaki like? No, it's not. It's like lemon capers. So there's no teriyaki sauce? Lord have mercy, Jesus. The home also features multiple garages for the world famous rapper to park his litany of gorgeous whips in. Okay, now that we have an idea of where T.I. spends the majority of his time, let's take a brief look at one of his oldest homes. T.I. first picked this home up in early 2005 for a reported $830,000. Actual details for this property are pretty slim, but reports online suggest that this home features 5,446 square feet of living space, along with five bedrooms and four full bathrooms. Out back is a fairly large swimming pool set into the ground, and to the side of the house is a paved space big enough to comfortably park a handful of cars. The most infamous piece of information out there about this home is that this was the site of a weapons raid by the ATF after TI's arrest back in 2007 for trying to procure machine guns and silencers. TI would end up spending close to a year in prison following this arrest. He was also sentenced to house arrest during all of this, so that might be why he spends less time there than he used to, having once been confined to this place for quite a while. Could you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually doing an interview with CNN. As soon as I'm finished, I'll change the battery. Our conversation was interrupted by his ankle monitor, telling him he had five minutes to change the battery. All right, the final place we're gonna take a look at today is TI's self-proclaimed bachelor pad, located in the neighborhood of Buckhead, Atlanta. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hold up, wait, isn't he married to Tiny? And well, yes, yes he is. But I should also mention that Tiny filed for divorce from TI not once, but twice back in 2016 and 2017 respectively. During the middle of these proceedings is when T.I. first picked up his home, though at the time he was telling everyone it was to cut down on his commute to work. In reality, I think we can all admit that relationships are complicated and sometimes people just need space. Don't take that from me. Here's T.I. basically saying the same thing. I ain't gonna sleep here, I'll tell you that. Oh, yes you are. I bet you I don't. Oh, why? Yeah, because. Why wouldn't you? I'm going where the refreshments are. They're not at your house. I bet you they no, are. No, they're not. Well, there's too many pictures of you. So while T.I. and Tiny have decided to work out their differences and stick together despite the divorce filings, T.I. has also held on to this home to use as his own personal pad for whenever he needs to get away. In terms of what this European style home offers, well, it's got four bedrooms and three bathrooms upstairs. At the very top of the main staircase is a tastefully decorated family space that overlooks the massive dining room with a fireplace and bar right below it. Not far from there is the kitchen and living room combo that's designed in open concept style. The kitchen is fashioned out of white appliances and cupboards for the most part, while also featuring a marble island in the middle and dual stainless steel ovens. There's also a gorgeous den located on the main floor that houses a fireplace of its very own and chandelier lights. Outside is a gigantic, and I do mean gigantic, entertaining space that features a canopy and beautiful brick finish. Tucked into the corner out here is a full service kitchen, and there's even room for another family sized dining room table. Finally, only a stone's throw away from there is the pool and spa combo that every mansion needs to feel truly complete. All things being said, this home is almost as sweet as they come, and TI has got this bad boy all to himself. Alright, guys, I think we'll bring this video to an end right here. What did you guys think about TI's three different mansions? Which would you prefer to live in? If I had my pick, it would definitely be his Jonesboro home. Not only is it the biggest and packs the most features, it's where his family spends most of their time as well. After all, home is where the heart is, right? Yeah, okay, the pandemic has been tough on all our nerves. I hear you. And that bachelor pad is pretty nice too. I guess it's just nice to know that TI has choices. Maybe we'll all be so lucky one day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I love talking with you guys and let me know whose house tour you want to see next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.